so many people face this issue in their device whenever they use any custom ROM. The issue is whenever they try to log into Google Play Store, it says this device is not Play Protect certified. So here I'm going to show you how you can get your device certified. You are watching Tech Anusunda. Let's get started this video. So first thing first, you go, you have to root your device. So here I have you rooted using kernel su. Next, when the root is working fine, the second thing is you gonna need this APK called empty manager. You can just Google it and get this APK. And second thing, what you can do is just go to Telegram and search Tech Anusunda and get the video from there or get the APK from there and install it. The second thing is you have to this APK a root permission. Just give it a root permission and then open the APK. Agree. Okay. And then give it file permission. See. Now see carefully because we have to go in the root directory. Not this root directory. I guess it type APK is not yet much loaded. Default root character. This is not the root directory we want to go. I guess let me go. Let it out. Take this APK. Go there. See. The root is permission is now turned on. Now when we go there and we go this root with this long list. Let's go in the root directory. See this is the root directory here in the right side. And then go to data. Be careful what I'm doing. Then again you have to go in the data. Now here you have to search G survey. G services, G services dot db. Just search it. It will found three files. Go to the middle one, and then tap here. Go to text editor. Now here you have to go and search. And here you have to search Android ID, and then tap next. And then once again next and then once again see finally we have found this device id Ready? this is the device id 44 you can see just copy it you can use any other device and go to the gsf id registration but here what i'm going to do is i just quick share this apk crown and i'm going to log in login in the chrome and gonna do it so i'm gonna skip the login process here let me pause so here i'm going to log in to my google account what you can do is you can just go to any other phone or your pc then go to gsf id Registration and just register your device. So let me log in. Wait. So finally, I have logged in using my Google account. Here you have to search GSF ID registration. Now you will find a website like this. Let's go to this first one, and then you have to go to this website. See, it says you have tap here. I'm not a robot. And then here you have to paste the number we have just copied from there and then tap register. It will show like this device registered. And see, you will see something like this in the bottom. Can you see 4483? Four, 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 four. This is the number that we have just registered. The next thing is so in some devices it takes around 10 to 15 minutes. Since so we have to clear the data of this APK, clear, clear all data. We have cleared the data. 
and then you have to reboot your device reboot by the way to do the same process in some devices it takes around 15 minutes and in some devices it just happens in a 5 or 2 minutes just in a seconds depends on the google id you have and how good your internet and their service at that time id registration sometimes it goes in a queue and it takes 30 minutes the highest is like uh, 15 to 17 minutes can't go 30 but in some cases it can happen by the way i do make videos like this if you found this video useful like this video nobody likes the video i just noticed it and the second thing is subscribe to this channel and for more videos like this press the bell icon so you can get the videos see now we are going to check the play store the device play protect is fixed or not see this is still showing this device is not play product certified because it takes 15 minutes or 5 10 minutes just give it some time don't worry it will happen just it will just take few more minutes don't just get scared the device id is registered there is no issue it should be in some device see it is ho gaya user Google account now I can simply just log into my account and use this so now let me log in and run on all the tests see it is now done 